how are you doing? How's it going? How's your day been today? Has it been pretty good? Have you had a lot of fun playing and learning a lot of new things and just being together with your loved ones? It's been really nice. Oh, I am so happy to hear that. That is so good. Well, today I have another story that I'm going to read to you. And this is the three little beavers. Beavers are furry animals. You can see the fur. And you see that they like to gnaw on wood. So let's find out about the three little beavers. Let's meet them. Is that okay? And this will be a good thing to, you know, enjoy before you get ready to get your sleepy time. All right? All right. Once there were three little beavers who lived with their parents in a spacious lounge on Beaver Creek. Bevan was an expert with twigs and mud. Beverly performed underwater somersaults, but Beatrice's mud patches fell off the dam. Her tumbling and diving needed practice. So, this is Bevan, and as, it, as they said, Bevan was an expert with twigs and mud. You can see that Bevan's working with those twigs and mugs, and mud, excuse me. Says Beverly, that's the sister, she performed underwater somersaults. Somersaults are like jumping around like with flips. So I don't know if you can see it. I'll get as close as I can. She's doing some underwater flips. That's pretty cool. That's pretty neat. And, but then Beatrice, mud patches fell off the dam. Her tumbling and diving needed practice. So basically, she wasn't as good as her brother and sister at those things, but she was making an effort to get better. And that's always the important thing, to do your best. So all summer, Beatrice did her best to gnaw trees and stash branches to store food for the winter. She dug a canal, sort of. Something always seemed to go wrong. Meanwhile, Bevan and Beverly seemed to do everything perfectly. So she's trying to be do things very well like her brother and sister, but she didn't quite do it as well. But the thing is that she is trying to do her best. What am I good at? Beatrice wondered. One evening, she swam up a beaver creek to find out. A river otter scared her, but she swam around it. So she can see that she's on the creek. Uh... You can see the river otter right here. And that's an animal that would try to eat these uh, young, eat the youngster. And you can see the fish and the frog all in the creek. So, to sneak past a boat full of humans, she pretended to be a floating log. So you can see the people, you see the, the, the little girl, and her parents and the little doggy and the boat and there's Beatrice you know and she's pretending like she's a log that's a piece of wood so she's real still and she's floating so the people just think that she's a piece of wood and so they won't bother her Beatrice climbed into a grassy meadow she scuttled and hopped past low funny looking trees too dry to eat. She chewed a thin aspen trunk and skittered out of her way in time for the timber to fall. By moonlight, Beatrice nibbled at the timber shoots, tender shoots and tasty bark. And then she snacked on nearby berries. So I'll show you this. Shoots are like little pieces of wood. That's what beavers like to eat. And these are the berries as you can see. And you can see what's this in the distance? This says Beaver Inn. I think we'll learn more about that as I continue to read. Near the water grew a delicious looking clump of clover. As she reached for it, whap! A box shaped trap slapped shut around her. And a trap is what trapped her. Now look at Beatrice. She's trapped inside and she can't get out. Beatrice watched the creek flow by the dam and home. She stayed calm and alert ready for whatever would happen next. 
Where was Beatrix? Her parents searched the woods and the canals. Bevan and Be Beaver and Beverly swam up the creek. So her family is worried about her. She's gone and they don't know where she is, so they're looking for her. That's a good thing that parents and brothers and sisters would do. Beverly was so excited to find Beatrice that she turned somersaults into a whap. A trap caught her too. Bevan chopped down a young willow. As he pushed branches into the cages to give his sister something to eat, he slipped and fell. Whap! Into a trap number three. So now Beatrice and her brother and sister, uh, Bevan and Beverly, they're all in traps now. That's not a good thing. Beverly tumbled nervously inside her box until she cut her tail on a sharp edge. Be Bevan gnawed a metal bar until he chipped the tooth. Terrified, he quaked in a corner. But Beatrice was quiet. She watched and waited. Seeing that her sister Bevan and Beverly felt better too, they grew quiet. So you can see the surroundings there. At dawn, people appeared. They lifted the three traps and set them facing toward the metal against the metal sides. Bevan huddled with fright, but Beatrice stayed curious and level-headed. We need to move those beavers far away to a new pond where they can't destroy our plants. But they might not do well in their new home. What's the use of moving them? More beavers, beavers will come in their place. Excuse me, I'm a guest here. I came to the inn hoping to see beavers. I have an idea. As you can see, they're sort of talking about that. Then hammering and sawing, Beatrice sawing started. Beatrice usually slept during the day, but there was too much noise for that now. Blah, oak leaves, not what she liked to eat. So the little boy is trying to feed her, but he's feeding her things that she doesn't like to eat. That's why she said, blah, doesn't like it. Hours went by until creak, the door to Beatrice's cage lifted. Creak, creak, Beverly and Beverly's cages open too. Bevan and Beverly's were too scared to move until they saw Beatrice. She lumbered into the sunlight, happy and hungry. Low fences now ring the delicious trees and gardens. Beatrice led her brother and sister down to the bank to the creek where the three little beavers feasted on lily, lily tubers and pounder weeds. So things are out of the cages. They're able to get some access to some food. That's a good thing until several guests from the inns approached with cameras. Beverly dove underwater with fright. Bevan snapped a stalk in two and froze, but Beatrice slapped her tail on the water and led the three beavers as they swam away home. Let's see, so Beatrice stayed cool and unafraid. And the end. So it just goes to show that even though Beatrice wasn't, hadn't learned all the things that beavers do, because she was calm and she thought about things first, she was able to help her brother and sister and help them get back to their home. So I hope that you like this story. So now it's time to get into our sleepy time voice. It's time to take that little rest. So I'm going to let you go for now. I'm glad that you liked the story. And I will see you the next time, okay? So let's get in our sleepy voice and get our sleepy eyes. And I will talk to you later, okay? Bye-bye. Have a good rest. Have a good sleep. And have very good dreams. Bye.